12 days ago I sowed some of these broad beans. They're a dwarf broad bean. Um, they're a Sutton uh, dwarf broad bean. And they look like this. As your broad beans. So I'm sure you've seen these before. Yep. Yeah. What I did was I took two trays like this, filled them with uh, multi purpose compost to the top, one seed in each, and just pressed it in about half an inch deep with my finger, closed it over, gave them a water, and then popped them inside a couple of polythene bags just to retain the uh, moisture. Put them on the windowsill. And as I say, that was 12 days ago, I can now see that there is some growth uh, in these containers so I'm going to um, take them out of the plastic bags and have a look. Uh, and you can have a look with me. Okay, these are the uh, two trays of uh, dwarf broad beans that I've sown. Um, I thought I might have needed the scissors uh, to get these bags off, but they're not that big, uh, the, seed, the uh, seedlings, so I think I should be able to just pull them off. Uh, I don't know, can you see the, the seeds just starting to break compost? I'll just lift this one over as well, you might be able to see that one. See that one just, that one there, one there, one there. Right, so we'll we'll tease these bags off and see what we've got. It's one off. Now I'm hoping this second bag when it comes off it won't damage these uh, seedlings. I don't think it will. I should be able to do something like that. There it is. Let's see. Peel it back. There we go. So if you can see that there's uh, there's three germinated from six in that particular cell. We'll have a look at this second cell and see what we've got here. Pop that ticket there. I'll just pop in there for the time being. Well, there's one. I can see there's two at the other end. That's it. So, we have another three germinations in this cell. Uh, and I can see that that, that seed's germinated, it's just starting to go. So, they're too small to go out yet. They've obviously got to grow on, but I couldn't grow them on in the polythene bags because the bags were restricting them. So these will go back on the windowsill. Um, and we'll grow them on, and then we'll put them in the raised beds. That's, incidentally, that's one of the reasons I'm growing a dwarf uh, broad bean. I'm also growing dwarf French beans as well. I'm growing dwarfs because it, in a raised bed, you don't want anything that's too big. It just overcrowds the bed. So, bang these on the windowsill, give them a bit longer, so there they go. Can you believe it? This is the warmest day we've had all year, and the weatherman's forecasting frost for the next couple of nights. But I've already set my stall out to plant these dwarf broad beans in my raised bed. And as you can see I've done some preparation so I'm just going to get on and do it. I do have some plastic sheets and covers and fleece and all manner of things that I'll, I'll be able to put over these and hopefully keep the frost off. As you can see, these are the broad beans that I sowed. You've got 
two, four, six, and we've got two, four. These two haven't shown. So I've basically divided the bed up to accommodate these uh, ten beans. Um, so I'll just move these out of the way, and I'm just going to put a little bit of six X in the bottom of these walls, just to give them a little bit of a start in life. I can do six from this side, I'll do four from that side. Okay. So let's see how these come out. And if you have a look, I think you'll probably be able to see there are some roots, so these guys need to go now, can't leave them any longer. One. there, that one there, we'll settle them in in a minute, roots on that. And this one, I don't know if you can tell, it's just starting to get away. It's going to get away. It's, it isn't as far on as the others, but it'll get away. Tie it up. That's it. So just settle these in now. I'll just use these stones as markers so that I can roughly equally space everything so we can remove those as well right I'll give those half dozen of water in and then we'll go around the other side put the other four in We haven't actually firmed that one in yet. We have now. And if I put that there, that there, I should be able to reach it from the other side. Six X. Storms away, the pebbles. Water them in. That's it. Ten broad beans, dwarf broad beans, done and dusted. I think they're about eight inches apart by eight inches apart, probably should be further apart. This is raised bed gardening, um, so you don't have that much space to work with. So, let's see how they go.